Hey everyone, so it's 12.30, actually it's past 12.30, it's probably going on 12.45 in the morning. I just got done with the shift at work and then immediately I jumped into watching a almost three hour long movie and hey, hey I'm not, I'm not finished with the intro yet. What are you doing? Stop! I'm not finished! Hello everyone and welcome to a very unexpected 3D Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at a movie, it's called Shak Shankuntalam. I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. This movie completely flew under my radar and I didn't even know we were getting it in 3D until I saw the other night where we had a 3D movie that I hadn't recognized before. And of course, me being me, I had to sit down and watch it. And that's what I did last night after work, and here I am talking about it. I'm going to try my best to explain the plot of this movie. It really is kind of all over the place. Like, it's got like a core thing, but the, like the editing and the structure, things just kind of happen sometimes. And I know that there is obviously a cultural divide where there are some things that I'm just not going to understand as well as if I had come from that culture. I think that also probably led to my confusion in a lot of things, but I think there's also some just basic story things that were just kind of like weird. So here's the plot. So there's this chick, right? She is like the offspring of a goddess and just a regular dude. And she was left abandoned in a forest and she was raised by these people that live in the forest in this village. And then she grows up and I'm like, okay, so the movie's going to be about her journey. And it kind of is. But then all these animals start going crazy and attacking people. Because you see, these people live with the animals. They can speak with the animals. The animals don't really talk back, but the animals understand what they're saying. So some of the animals are going wild and going crazy. So I'm like, oh, okay, the movie's gonna be about why are these animals going wild and savage and attacking people. But then this guy shows up, who's supposed to be crowned king of this great kingdom, and then, so the movie starts being about him. And then there's these demon worshiper guys that are trying to prevent him from becoming king because he falls in love with the chick that is the offspring of the goddess and the regular dude. Because they fall in love, they're going to have a son that's going to change, bring a new world order that's going to bring about the end of the demon worshipping guys. And so they're trying to prevent that, but then it doesn't work. And it's just all these different dramatic things happening throughout the movie and it, it just kind of felt all over the place to me and a little unfocused. Like the main through line was the love story. Did I enjoy the movie itself as a movie? There were some fun things in it. Uh, there were some action sequences. There were some dramatic story beats that I got really into and some cinematography that looked really nice. But I was kind of just out of it and maybe it could be because I had just gotten off of work and I had been at work all day. but. I was like, I don't really understand what's happening a lot of the time, and I'm trying to play catch up and read the text, the subtitles, and also pay attention to what's happening in the movie, and also making mental notes of things that are happening in the 3D, and I, I don't want to say anything stupid, so I'm just going to like move on from that. Do I regret seeing it? No. I, like I said, I think there were some interesting things in this movie. But for me personally, I don't really watch a lot of love stories. That's not really my thing. So I kind of was checking out a couple of times, but there were a few surprises that I was like, oh, oh wow, I, I was not expecting that. So let's talk about the 3D. So this movie is post converted into 3D and you can tell there's a few errors in the 3D presentation, though it's not enough to really have me say don't go see it in 3D. And it's kind of stuff that you'll blink and miss it, and only if you're really looking for it. But some things aren't rendered on the correct Z-axis, some things appear flat, particularly when there's a lot of things going on on the screen. And when there's like foliage or something covering whatever object is in the screen. That can cause some issues, but those things are difficult to do even at the best of times. So I don't really dock a whole bunch of points for that, especially considering that the 3D in this movie is very deep. I mean, some basically everything is hyper stereo. The landscape shots, hyper stereo. You're not going to get any flat effects on anything. And especially once they get to the king's kingdom, it's like 
very stretched and exaggerated. The 3D makes everything seem so big and massive, which is what you want it to do. It's primarily helping show the size and scale and scope of this guy's kingdom. Plus, like I said, the other landscape shots, there's a lot of moments where cameras are flying over mountains and things that look really cool in 3D. And there is quite a bit of pop out in this movie. Uh, specific scenes, action sequences, they all have things flying at the camera. I remember arrows flying out at the camera. There's a scene where they try to stone the pregnant woman to death because they say that she's a liar and I don't want to spoil too much about the movie, but the stones were coming out of the screen in 3D and there's just a few other moments where there was some nice pop-up that I won't give everything away. There's like a blue one with a bunch of butterflies that looked really nice in 3D. So this movie does feel like a movie that did have 3D in mind. There were moments tailor made for that. If you do plan on seeing this movie, I would recommend seeing it in 3D despite the minor 3D issues that it has. But like I said, those are blinking, you'll miss it, and you really have to know what you're looking for. Otherwise, you're not gonna really even notice it. The 3D in this movie is very extreme, and I would say uh, if you're a huge fan of 3D and you wanna see like a deep 3D movie, this might even be worth checking out for that alone. Does this story feel like it is a good fit for 3D? There are scenes and sequences that feel like they work well for 3D, but there's also a good chunk of this movie where I was like, I don't really know why this had to be in 3D. They definitely try to make it worth it where they can. I almost feel like the moments where it does work really well offset the moments where it's just kind of like, mm -hmm. When they do the pop out, they really go for it. They really want you to know this is a 3D movie. If you already plan on seeing this movie, go check it out in 3D. If you have no interest in this movie, if you just want to see a nice 3D experience, then maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe you'll enjoy it more than I did. Like I said, it's not a total loss, but it just, there is that cultural disconnect that I don't completely understand everything. And I feel like Brahmastra, Brahmastra was more building its own lore off the back of a lot of the religious stuff here. And I'm trying to pick my words carefully because I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I just watched the 3D and I enjoy it. Brahmastra also had a much higher budget, you could tell. Uh, this movie, there are a lot of scenes where it's very clearly filmed on a soundstage. And you can tell, but there's also a lot of moments where the movie is filmed in real locations and you can tell that as well. And there's also quite a few CG animals in this movie. And I'll have to say the special effects on the animals looked really, really good. That's probably where a lot of the money went into is making the effects, the CG effects that the movie does have looking very, very good. Uh, just from my perspective. Anyway, that's all I gotta say for this movie. Go check it out in 3D. It's worth seeing in 3D, I guess. And I think that's it. Thank you guys for checking this video out. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Either for Luigi's Mansion or Guardians of the Galaxy, whatever comes first. I had some mozzi sticks with the buffalo hot sauce last night, and I can't taste anything. <laughs>